Brellas are a unique weapon class in Splatoon with the ability to shield themselves. The three different types of Brella work extremely differently, and I'll address each of them separately, starting with the Tentabrella. The Tentabrella is a large, slow-moving tank of a weapon. It has a massive shield with a borderline unshreddable amount of HP, but it takes that shield out very slowly compared to the Splatbrella, so it's hard to protect yourself with it on reaction if you're surprised, especially since latency causes players to get shot through their shields all the time. Instead, Tentabrellas fight by launching their shields in front of them and swimming with them. The shield works like a moving splash wall, allowing them to swim in front of it to block damage from behind, or stay behind it to block damage from in front. Strong Tentabrella players stay close to the center of the shield to give them time to react in case people throw bombs at the shield to try and detonate them immediately off the shield for a splat. Once a Tentabrella is close enough, it can one-shot opponents, even without max damage, so they can't necessarily ignore it in tight spaces. Once a player figures out the rhythm of launching and recharging the shield, they can keep themselves safe even in difficult situations seemingly indefinitely, especially with an ink vac as a potential panic option if they're threatened. Players use this to flank and distract the enemy team or to force their way through contested choke points. 